Uh, so what we have seen till now is um, software testing, why is it so hard and uh, then we saw various case studies in software uh, where uh, you know uh, software testing was not effective due to which some softwares failed. So we saw all that right why is it so hard then we saw who test the software all that we saw we saw the evolution of software testing then we had a discussion on software testing myths and facts where we actually discussed whether you know um, this is a myth or it is a fact then we saw the uh, various goals of software testing i think you would have already taken the quiz also related to it right then uh, we saw the model for software testing now what we are going to see is schools of software testing where uh, you know software uh, testers or practitioners uh, had various views uh, on testing so according to that uh, what can be the ideas associated with testing so they call it schools of testing so what are the various schools of software testing that is what we are going to see now so first is analytical school of testing then we have standard school of testing quality school of testing context driven school of testing and agile school of testing so we are going to see each one and in analytical school of testing basically uh, you know it is it defines software testing as a logical uh, practice where you know uh, software testing will uh, have uh, computer science and mathematics basis so basically it will provide an objective measure of testing and an example to this is structural testing or black box testing okay here basically the testing is uh, having a logical mathematical form so we will have uh, precise and detailed specifications in this case uh, requirement specifications that need to be tested whereas in standard school of testing uh, it says testing must be managed what do you mean by managed that means it should be predictable the testing process should be predictable then we should be able to repeat the entire process that means if the software is tested and we got some results when we retest it again the same software we should get the same result that is repeatable and it should be planned the entire process should be planned okay uh, and most importantly testing should be cost effective so what is happening here the in standard school of so, uh, school of testing testing will validate the pro product whatever the software product what we have the testing process will validate it then another thing that we have to remember here is testing is a measure that we use to see the development progress okay so basically here the emphasis will be on measurement of testing activities so that we will be able to track the development progress so here the school will define testing as a managed process so you you know you will get it as one mark question for your quiz okay so please re remember all these points testing as a managed process standard school of testing defines uh, testing as a managed process so here we have a clear boundary between what are the text uh, testing activities and what are the other activities what are the plans that we should have um, you know uh, and how do we progress or how do we track the progress all that will come uh, will come into picture another um, school of testing is quality school of testing as the name says um, quality school of testing is is uh, something that believes in quality of the software so instead of telling 
the name software testing we can call it like software quality assurance because here the overall emphasis is on uh, the uh, software quality uh, and um, testers will actually uh, or testing will determine the development process whether the development process is followed or not that is there will be some standard process that need to be followed in the development so testing will determine if that process is being followed or not okay um, so uh, here testers will be like police uh, you know they will uh, keep track of the activities of the developers uh, that is that whether the developers are following certain rules or not all that and uh, and if we see uh, you know um, uh, testers will actually make sure that a quality software is being delivered to the user the uh, fourth one is context driven school of testing what do we have here here uh, testers will uh, perform testing according to the context of the pro uh, project what do you mean by context of the project see we can have software solutions for uh, different uh, applications like um, a high cost real time defense project or uh, you see our uh, flights will have uh, softwares um, so that softwares or you know a low cost software that involves like income tax calculation or um, faculty uh, uh, faculty attendance management system like that we have low cost or low uh, low impact projects in both the cases do we have to follow the same uh, test plan and uh, approach no uh, see if we have a high cost and real time defense project uh, each and every activity must be tracked right um, so it should not fail under critical circumstances that is very important so in that case con that context is different whereas uh, a, a faculty attendance management system is not is a trivial uh, solution so it is uh, it even if it fails one day it is okay see when i so when i do biometric it fails one day nothing happens right so um, i mean it, it's not that nothing happens i can just go and report it and uh, they will mark my attendance so it is it doesn't have much it doesn't create much problem so here our emphasis in context driven software testing is what is the type of project that we have so test plan will you know will be uh, developed based on the type of project the emphasis is to select a testing type that is valuable and that is uh, that is in par with the type of uh, project or the uh, the type of project that we are dealing with okay so here what are we seeing we are seeing uh, that we are adapting our test plan based on uh, what is the context so what is the environment what we are dealing with so the effectiveness of test strategies will be uh, determined based everything is based on the um, the project what we are dealing with okay and the last one is agile school of testing so i think you have would have already learned in software engineering that uh, agile school of testing basically it is iterative method uh, so here what we do is you know we focus on small um, softwares that is delivered at a short span of time not small software like minimum uh, features uh, that will be there in our software and we will uh, deliver it to the um, uh, to the users or customers in a short span 
and they will give feedback. Once we get the feedback, we will do the modifications and we will improvise the uh, software. Right. So, in this case, there will be more and more new versions and the developers will be working on already existing software. So, existing software modifications are being done and then we are, uh, you know, developing on top of the existing software. So, you know, we have to make or we have to modify the previous one. So, in such cases, there are chances that we are introducing new bugs. Uh, and in that cases, our main intention is or will be to perform regression testing. So that already existing features will work properly along with the newly added features. Okay. Uh, so this is agile school of testing. So these are the various schools of testing what we uh, have seen. Next what we will do is we will go to software testing terminologies. So um, see um, previously error, bug, defect, failure, fault everything was used in you know um, in the like people used to uh, interchange the um, words. So uh, what we will do is so what they did was uh, they actually standardize the terminology. So in the IEEE standard, they have actually specified what do you mean by a failure? What is a fault? What is an error? Fault, defect, bug. These are the things that we can change, inter we can use, inter we can interchange. But failure is different from fault. So what is the difference? What is an error? Then moving on, what is a test case? A test where, what is an incident, what is a test oracle. So we are going to see one by one.